Hello everyone and welcome to this building a stronghold video. But first, what is a stronghold? Henrik showed in his stream a stronghold. These are the things that you can place everywhere. Or here for example we have a tier 1 stronghold that is a little bit smaller or a little bit upgraded. Here's a good example. Not a thing in the back or not the walls around but these things here you can place them everywhere. Not the tower in the front, the building in the back. You can start these buildings with the tier 1 deed that you get from the house vendor and the upkeep, the default taxes are 4 silver coins the hour. So for one day it's 96 silver for the tier 1. So around about 1 gold a day for this stronghold, which is sold by the house vendor, not the keep vendor. That comes to our next question, where do I get all these deeds or the stronghold? Deed. And in every major town you have the house vendor. <laughs> Door. Also the keep vendor, but we go to the house vendor. Just for example, a keep costs much more and uh, these are the structures where the broken walls are around or if it built up, sure, the walls are around. And this is very expensive and should only be built by a guild, but if, you, if you're really hardcore and alone, maybe the stronghold is also an option for you but it's better for smaller guilds and stuff um, to uh, get a stronghold instead of a keep because keep is really for for large groups and every tier upgrade costs also 1000 gold but uh, then you have another floor that you can stack stuff into it and like henrik said in his stream you can place a lot of furniture in there the furniture will come a lot of furnitures will come over the years and stuff you will have uh, a lot of work where you can have a lot of workbenches in there for example buttery workbench and some other so you have quite a variety to, to design your own uh, stuff in your stronghold and you can also place walls to separate sections of your stronghold. For example, this door is only for that kind of members and stuff and um, there will also be more quality of life changes for the strongholds and houses uh, that you can uh, transfer them, sell them and many other stuff. For example, later also with taxidermy and some other stuff that you can make cool trophies of some animals and stuff. So we want to construct our house now but what we need to actually construct Construct that before we go out. First off you need the house deed, the stronghold deed for example. If you place your stronghold you then have the sign beside your door and in that sign you just add the wood, the stone and the metal. But now very important you need all three materials. Just just take for example 1000 material of each of that, 1000 wood, 1000 stone, metal and stuff. You need all three materials to actually start working. You can't start start working if you have only wood with yourself for example and just building the wood up, that, that doesn't work. And take a few silver with you to pay the upkeep up front for a few days for example. Okay so now take your group for example if you're building a, a bigger project, if you're just building your small house then take your small house and move outside with a few silver and a few Few materials, not all your materials, but a few materials, because the chance is also high that someone came by, came by and steal your stuff, kill you, whatever. But now the, the the real problem is to search a house spot or a spot where you can build. Just for example, in the top right corner, you have the information why you can't build there. But here comes now the real problem. I mean, there's no specific um, stuff highlighted why you can't build there. Now there's something highlighted, now again, but now nothing here is highlighted. The problem is even if it's grayed out, you still can't place it. Just for example, this is a very suitable place. It is more or less even and you can't place it there. We already had some more spots that were really even, not, not, not like this, a little bit more even than this, and you can't place it there. So here on another location it's also suitable, but you can't place it there either. I mean, so I would really need to change something there because if we would have died now, we would we would be really frustrated because that is a flat place and we searched for like one to two hours to actually place the stronghold because it's not possible to place it on the, on the most spots. I don't know, but for a free placement system, from my understanding, this is no free placement system. I mean, it's, 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 it's a flat, it's, it's flat here. Why we can't place it here? It can't get any more flat than this. I mean, probably only Henrik's party heart's flatter than this. Star Wars really, really need to change this and give the players proper feedback. I mean, the grayed out um, stuff in the right top corner, it's grayed out, I, I don't know. But you can only place it if no grayed out things and nothing is on the top right corner besides the information. But uh, the list under that, for example, there are objects, it's not flat enough. 
and some other stuff. It's too near Tindrim. It's too near any city. It's too near to uh, anything else and stuff. It it really needs to be adjusted. I mean, I mean, we we're running around for for like nearly two hours just to find one spot very far away where we would actually place our stronghold. We all were glad that we tried it out now and not at release because that would generate some salt because then we farmed all for nothing if someone came came by then. I don't know, maybe maybe they need something like, okay, um, um, a blueprint test or something like that that you can test first if you can place it there. But okay, that's more, it's more or less the risk of, of the system and the risk of Mortal Online. So it's, it's okay that you can risk that. But if it looks suitable for a placement of a stronghold, then you should be able to place a party hard stronghold. And after a lot of adjustments and, and running back and forth, we find a few centimeters that we were able to place this thing. Thanks God that we finally found something. I mean, Henrik said in his last streams uh, that they will adjust uh, these, uh, th this stuff uh, anyway. Um, with the placement in general and the rules that you can place or not place depending on the trees and rocks and stuff and I personally think that they will get this before the release but please write in the comments what you think about uh, the placement system and stuff but I suggest to you 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 must really try it yourself first that you that you maybe get the experience because because it just feels a little bit different instead of um, just watching actually farm the gold and making all the steps and trying to find a place and that is pretty difficult because some people want to live there and there and there. And uh, we, we just wanted to try it out to build that. It's, 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 it's not a final placement or anything, but um, we just wanted to try this out. And I suggest to you to do the same right now because now you can get the experience before the release and give your feedback to Star Vault. Maybe if you have some concerns or maybe um, something is bothering you or, or you see um, how you how this can be improved. Then you just hold the use key and place it. Then you can adjust the height and you can turn it around. And then you make the final placement. And then you throw all your materials in there and you can start building. And of course, pay the upkeep first, because if you don't pay the upkeep, uh, this stuff will lose HP. So again, make sure that you have gold with you, a, f uh, a few materials of all, not all the materials maybe, because uh, who wants to um, transport 60 stacks of stone? But um, just for example, um, just throw in a little bit, build it up first so that it has HP that no one came by with a 20 man guild and 20 hammers and they all hammer your stuff down. So um, so it's better to be prepared and not taking all your resources at once. So just for example, we were uh, not the smartest guys. So we just uh, didn't have any metal and any stone. So we were... Um, completely out of materials uh, we only had wood and if you then start building with only wood for example you need to add more resources not more wood but more of the other resources to actually build that thing and we also didn't have any uh, stones so uh, we were all um, farming a little bit of granum and wood and yeah uh, metal refining on the field is a little bit tricky and it doesn't work but we gathered the rest together and started building again then uh, some of us uh, bucked in the ground of this stuff and um, yeah and I mean, uh, the bug fixing month is uh, next month. Um, I hope they will get uh, this right. It's it's not so much of a problem, but it's, it just looks a little bit silly. And I think he's stuck in there. Be gentle, guys. Star Wars did a great job on uh, these strongholds and the house building and stuff because the model on one, when they added uh, that, it was a little bit more bugged and, uh, and a lot of more lot of more stuff was broken than this. So now they got it right and uh, they do the best they can and it's wonderful. Yeah, we built it up to keep and uh, yeah, we need a, a little more quality of life uh, stuff because um, I can't open um, the door because uh, um, I'm not the owner of this house. Uh, maybe something that only a guild member can open uh, this door or I don't know, a guy on the friends list of the owner and stuff. But all this will come. Henrik already uh, confirmed that and um, also some more options and stuff like uh, co-ownership, restricted access to doors and uh, selling the house. I don't know how this will work. Maybe like a model on one where you can just trade with uh, the other person and uh, then you can trade the house and he can trade gold, for example. Or maybe with an ownership paper that you can make an ownership paper of your house and uh, then, it, uh, then sell it to the new city and then you take the ownership paper and must go to uh, this house and claim it. I don't know, or, or maybe claim it to the empire 
um, that, 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 that uh, you build on, for example, the Tindramic Empire, that you need to go there and, and actually transfer the ownership of that house to you. I don't know. So I hope you found this interesting. So special thanks to all my supporters, Carmel, Professor O, Donsky, and all the others, of course. Also, please have a like and subscribe. Every like helps. And always remember to keep out a uh, party art. See you all next time. Goodbye.